Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to use indirect addressing on HMI comfort panel. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Indirect addressing, or address multiplexing is very useful feature. By using it you need only one single tag to access a multitude of memory locations within PLC's address range. You do not need to define a tag for each individual address if you want to read or write to it. So you need to define only one tag instead of 20 for example. Address multiplexing can be with absolute addressing or symbolic. First let's take a look at the symbolic addressing. Multiplexing with symbolic addressing is supported by S7-1200 and S7-1500 communication drivers. By multiplexing with symbolic addressing, you access array elements of an array tag in data block by means of a multiplexing tag and index tag. Let's say you have a data block called, my data block, and array of tags named, my array, then the expression for symbolic addressing would be as follows. The access to the index of the array elements can be controlled with the HMI tag. The value of the HMI index tag can be supplied in the runtime. Let's create a user-defined PLC data type with the RPM, temperature, current, and voltage readings of the blower. Next create a data block and add an array of created UDT. Set some starting values for test purpose. PLC side is done for now. Add the comfort panel to your project. Create HMI tag table. Create internal integer type tag and name it index. This tag will help to access various array elements. Create tag named status, or any other name that suits your needs. Select your connection. Make sure, that access mode is symbolic access. Link the first element of your array to this tag. Expand cell in the address column and select your HMI tag as index. Now your PLC tag is multiplex tag. I am going to monitor status values of different blowers. For that purpose I have created a pop-up screen. At the top of it I have placed a text field with the name of the selected blower, and four output fields for RPM, temperature, current, and voltage readings. Create a new screen. Drag and drop some blowers from your graphics library. Put a button on each of the graphic and in general properties select mode invisible. Switch to the events tab of the button. Select button press event and set index tag value 0. It means, that when this button is pressed, the elements of the array with index 0 will be accessed. By releasing the button I do open the pop-up screen with corresponding blower process values. Repeat same steps for other blowers. 
By pressing second blower button set value 1 to index. By pressing third blower button set value 2 to index, and by pressing fourth blower button set value 3 to index. Let's test the application. Let's click on the first blower. As you can see the values in the pop-up screen corresponds to the values of the first blower. Let's try next one. Now the values correspond to the values of the second element of the array. Let's try another one. Now the values correspond to the values of the third element of the array. And the last one. Values apply to the fourth one. That was an example on the multiplexing with symbolic addressing. Multiplexing with absolute addressing is supported by S7300, 400, 1200, and 1500 communication drivers. When using multiplexing with absolute addressing, you configure tags as placeholders for the address in the PLC to be addressed. Create one more data block. Make sure that attribute optimized block access is unchecked. Create an array with same UDTs and assign some starting values. Switch to the panel and create one more tag table. Create internal index tags for each reading. Create a multiplex tag for each reading. Select your connection. Make sure, that access mode is absolute access. Expand the cell in the address column. Set the right DB number. By the way, you can create index for DB number as well. Set the HMI tag for address and select created index tag. Repeat same steps for all multiplex tags. To calculate the index of the multiplex tag I am going to use VB script. Create a new VB script. Create one input parameter for blower number. Multiply the blower number by 8, to get the value of the RPMs of the corresponding blower. I guess you are wondering where from that 8 comes. Well, switch back to the data block. As you can see, the length of the each array element is 8 in bytes. In your case the length might be different, so your value will be according to the length of your array element in bytes. So, for the first element with index 0, the RPMs will be 0 multiplied by 8 equals to 0. For next element it will be 1 multiplied by 8 equals 8. And so on. Switch back to the VB script. To get the index for the temperature we need to add 2 to the offset, as it is a third byte of the array. For the voltage you need to add 4 and for current index you need to add 6. And in the end set the index of the text list with the names of the blowers. Create another pop-up screen to show the values. Assign corresponding multiplex tags for each output field.
create another screen with blowers. In the button events, on button press event select newly created VB script. Set 0 for first blower number. On the release call the corresponding pop-up screen. Repeat same steps for other blowers by setting correct blower number for VB script parameter. Let's test the application. Click on the first blower. As you can see the values in the pop-up screen corresponds to the values of the first blower. Let's try next one. Now the values correspond to the values of the second element of the array. Let's try another one. Now the values correspond to the values of the third element of the array. And last one. That was an example on the multiplexing with absolute addressing. At this point, that is that what I wanted to show you for today. If this video was useful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And happy coding.